What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Random Streaking, boys. Random streaking. We are at a three win streak right now, as you can see listed there in the bottom left. And uh, yeah, we've had some pretty bad luck. And uh, as I say that, we run into an Azazel. An Azazel random. Uh, funny story, I actually was streaming this probably about two weeks ago. And I got two lost runs. I've told you guys this before. I got two lost runs in a row. And then the third one was an Azazel run. And I actually lost the Azazel run. I won the lost runs and I lost the Azazel run. So let's not let that happen again. Basically what happened was I re-rolled the whole run and I got a dunce cap. And then I got to Isaac and the dunce cap with the short brimstone it just wasn't working, dude. Like, I could not line it up to hit Isaac without him hitting me. Um, it was just... It was bad. It was really bad. I'm going to take this just for the health. I obviously know I can fly already. I'm really happy they didn't give me the the um, the wings. I think the wings on Faith is just... They're way too big and uh, bright. They're quite distracting. And I don't think there's many cosmetics in this game that can actually have you get hit but that one is pretty obstructive to be completely honest <clears throat> hold on guys just messing with the volume here i think we should be good i think we should be good all right so yeah we already got our uh item room <clears throat> might as well use it slow him down a little bit and broke him in half already and he's about dead larry jr is done that was very quick old bandage is going to be some more health so we're going to get two red hearts and hopefully get a deal with the devil. Every time I start this up, every time I start it up without missing HUD, and I apologize, uh, but here it is again. Here it is again. My fault. My fault. Uh, all right. We do have a full card. I'm not going to explore anymore. Like I said, we should have two red heart containers here. 100% chance at the deal with the devil. Uh, we do not know our health, unfortunately, but... I'm pretty sure it's two red hearts and three black hearts, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you know what? We'll just full card out of here. Okay. So, we're in the deal with the devil right off the bat. And uh, we are definitely going to take Gimpy. Because it is deal with the devil precedent. I mean, Gimpy is Gimpy, is Gimpy but I think the deal with the devil precedent is the most important part there. Uh, on the first, or sorry, second floor devil deal. First floor first possible floor unless you have a card or something <clears throat> all right check out our item room we do have a key for it uh and it is tough love which i don't know if it affects uh with brimstone i know i know cosmetically it doesn't like i know you don't actually shoot the brass knuckles out but i don't know if like uh damage wise it affects brimstone i don't know i don't know at all Drop a bomb there. Pick up a soul heart and a key. Nothing wrong with that. Ooh. <clears throat> so, Edmund updated bindingofisaac.com today with some Afterbirth Plus. And I actually wanted to keep it up. And I don't know if I did. Uh, I didn't. Of course. Of course. That would be that would be preparing for the episode. All right. That would be preparing for the episode. And that's just not something that happens. Um, so, there's two trinkets he announced. One silver dollar. And the shops, uh, that, that makes shops appear in the womb. And then Bloody Crown, which, uh, makes item rooms appear in the womb. Those are both very, very welcome additions. And actually, I think the inclusion of those put them right up with, uh, Cancer and Goat Horn. Or, sorry, Curved Horn. I think those put those right up with uh, Cancer and, and Curved Horn as the the best trinkets in the game because I've always complained about, you know, having money in the womb and not really having anything to do with it except give it to beggars. Um, and yeah, I, I think, I don't think, here's the thing. I don't think I'm the only person with that issue. I think that's that's an issue across the board. But uh, it's it's really nice to see changes like that where it's like you always just wish that it was in the game. And now it's actually going to be in the game. It's going to come to fruition and be there. It's really cool. 
now money matters after uh the well, once you get to the womb money matters still because of that trinket um and also you know we get we get a chance to even build more op runs which is really fun like i'm totally down with that i'm always down with that uh slow him up a bit i'm just scared it's gonna wear off at the worst time possible almost got hit there ended up killing him <clears throat> without getting hit just one more little dip dippy doodle there code hanger and this is the deal with the devil we already saw so let's just get out of here <clears throat> i'm into code hanger though also he released some uh legend of bumbo stuff he actually released a video of the character select screen so there's a lot of information in that video uh, I have not gone back and like looked at every second of it, but the characters seem cool. Um, it said gameplay co gameplay video coming soon, which is hype because I'm a, I'm very excited for Legend of Bumbo. I know it might be a turn-based game, and I know that me personally not a huge fan of turn-based games. With that being said, I did really enjoy Darkest Dungeon, and that's a turn-based game, and. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, I'm looking forward to it. Plus, I, I trust Edmund. I trust that he's going to make a fun game whether I like the genre or not. Um, I enjoyed roguelikes, you know, before picking up Isaac. Uh, so, I don't really know how I'll, how I'll feel going into a genre I don't really mess with. But here's the thing. I used to play Hearthstone as well, and that's obviously a turn-based game. It's a card game. So, uh, I think Legend of Bumbo is... is I think it's a card game. I think it's some some sort of card game. Um, but yeah, I heard it's turn-based. Either way, I'm excited for it. The character select screen, uh, like the graphics of it and the uh, aesthetic just looked awesome. Like the whole cardboard feel. Um, it just executed really well. It's like cardboard 2D, like but done in 3D. I highly suggest you guys go watch that video because it looks awesome. <clears throat> also, he talked about that the the little steven game um or i should just say steven i guess uh but he had he does not have a name for it and they posted a gameplay video of that that looks fun as well i'm definitely going to be playing that you're going to be seeing legend of bumbo and that game on this channel for sure uh once once they come out um but yeah i'm i'm psyched i'm psyched for afterbirth plus he, he announced that there is going to be there is no release date yet or or no price uh but he just says that he wants to get the mod tools perfect i think that was the quote but uh yeah obviously super excited for all those those titles and updates i'm gonna do this because they're gonna shoot tears out when they die and i just want time to get away just gotta be gotta be safe rather than be safe than sorry you know it's my, my mother always said my mother this is what my mother always said uh oh two item rooms right here just like that two freaking item rooms uh i mean i'll take toxic splash i don't know if it does anything with brimstone and then i'll take uh, the attack fly because i like the attack fly i think this is the one of the best uh fly items in the game other than guppy's head i guess i like it because it's better than the blue fly in damage it is a little more high risk because you got to get close to them but I enjoy that better. I enjoy it better. I'm not going to lie. <clears throat> I, it looks like the toxic splash damage is doing something. I mean, there's green on the ground. Wow, that was... I just walked into this room and got hit. So, WoW Legion came out today, and that's all people are talking about. Um, so, why not talk about it here on Isaac? <laughs> Uh, but no, for real, like I have no ill will towards, uh, wow. I actually think it was, it, it was a really fun game. The, the time I spent with it, the reason I stopped playing it was a conscious decision, um, to kind of save my social life a little bit, just because I know how that game gets. And I know how I get with, uh, MMO RPGs because this is going to, this is going to make me sound super old, but I used to play EverQuest and Ultima Online and... Uh, this game called Ashron's Call, which is by far my favorite RPG of all time. Uh, unfortunately, they let bots <clears throat> they let bots in the game, um, and it kind of killed it. They let bots in the game so people could sell their items while they were offline in like the hub and all stuff like that. 
And yeah, unfortunately, I think that was the demise of the game. But <clears throat> the memories and fun times I had with Ashron's Call will forever probably be my get my best gaming experience. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. My best gaming experience like I've ever had. Uh, definitely my favorite MMORPG of all time. Uh, I did love EverQuest as well. Tried a little bit of EverQuest too. Ashron's Call actually came out with Ashron's Call too. Tried that. Did not enjoy it. Uh, quite as much as the OG Ashron's Call, but, uh, yeah, so, like, I get it. I understand why people love WoW and why they're addicted to WoW, but there's, I, I consciously have not reactivated my account because, because of, you know, I, I want to be productive <laughs> in content creation, and, uh, I don't think there's a place for me to be playing WoW in my content creation, which is fine, believe me, I don't need, I don't need to play WoW, um, just because I really feel like it dampers your whole social life because it is very addicting. I think that's an understatement. And the fly does the rest. This is going to give us an HP up as well. Um, all right. Well, we're going to get that for free. So I'm going to take it. That's nine lives, which is good. And then this one for free, which is the call to the void. This is the one where you get hit. Uh, it's not Maw of the Void, it's the other one. It's the one where if you get hit, you release a little brimstone circle. And we all know how I feel about items that only trigger when you get hit. I'm not a fan. Not a fan. Hate these guys. Hate them. Hate the boners. 600 hours in, I still hate the boners, man. Boners are the worst. Oh, that's on. Un that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. He spawned the bomb right as I was killing him. Oh, he just wrecked that dude. I did want to. I did want to get into Diablo three. I know. I know. I <laughs> know. It's super late. Um. But I kind of like doing that. Like, I do that with story games as well. Like, um, being a Twitch streamer, when a story game comes out, especially one that's, like, highly anticipated, I do this with everything except Life is Strange. When Life is Strange would release, I would play that episode the day of. But, I digress. Usually, I like, uh, being a streamer on Twitch, I like, you know, having everybody, you know, play the story game. And, you know, people watch it or whatever. And then leave enough time where there's still interest in the game. Uh, but people kind of forget, you know, the motions of the game. And they don't see it on every Twitch channel. Uh, there's definitely a sweet spot for that. I don't know what it's called. But it's like, you know, right after the honeymoon phase of, like, the game where people are playing it just because it's new. Um, that kind of thing. But yeah, I know Diablo 3 is probably way past that. But I would, I, I thought about picking it up. Um, I am trying to get my girlfriend Kate to play it with me because having a, uh, a girlfriend that lives across the country from you, uh, you definitely want to spend time with them when you can. And the good thing about the relationship was we both really enjoy gaming. That was really dumb. We both really enjoy gaming, so that has made, you know, the distance a little bit easier to swallow. Um, so, yeah, stuff like that is important. Plus, Diablo is one of those games where you could just sit on it for hours because it has that uh, RPG aspect to it. We might actually die. Um, having a brimstone that's this short. This is, this is really, really, really reminding me of the run I had on stream that I was telling you guys about. Um, I really don't love nine lives. The only thing I love about it is that it's a guppy item. Uh, the reason I don't love nine lives, especially with someone like Azazel, is that it's like a slow burn. There's times where I'm Azazel and like I feel like I can't beat Isaac because my brim is too short or like my damage isn't enough or my tears aren't high enough. Uh, I think Azazel is very OP, but he also he's situational. Like that that short brim is all you got sometimes most of the time unless you have like familiars but uh dude you can get handcuffed and that's what happened on stream i actually had nine lives with azazel and i got handcuffed like it didn't my dad my dodging didn't matter that much it was just like that was the cards i was dealt that short brim and at the time the dunce cap but uh 
yeah, I just couldn't, I could not beat Isaac. It didn't matter how many lives I had, you know? It just, sometimes it just turns into a slow burn death, which is really uncomfortable. Um, but we also have a chariot card, which I really, really got to try to save. And then uh, the thing is we do have a tack fly, which we could always damage, do a little extra damage with. I feel like I fought this guy already. Did I fight that guy already or am I, am I losing my mind? I remember seeing those poops in a boss room already. Uh, did we get our item room? I have no idea. Sorry, just had to clear my throat. And I didn't want you guys to hear because it's probably annoying if I do it every three seconds. All right, we didn't get our item room. Glad I didn't leave. Let's slow these guys down a bit. Okay, one down. Another down. Thank you guys for the support on the Let's Have a Look series as well. That that I did not think it was going to do as well as it did. And I'm very, very pleased. Um, I like Eden's Blessing. One, because it gives you a tears up. And then two, it gives you a random item on your next run. Which I think is a really cool mechanic in the game. Um, so we're going to take it over little Steven. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for the, the support on the Let's Have a Look series. Really cool. Really cool. I'm definitely going to do more of those. Uh, I think that, that of Kings and Men was the perfect game for me to start that off on because I do think that game has potential and I do uh, enjoy that game a lot. And I think it once it gets out of alpha or early access, I think it it's going to be really good. Um, but yeah, there's, there's a ton of games where I could do Let's Have a Look at. Um, that's why that series is so great. Or like ha not that particular series but having a series like that is so great and why a lot of people do it because it's really it's really fun to play new games uh and shed some light on games that people don't really know about like it's cool to think that somebody could have watched that let's have a look series uh video and you know saw of kings and men and been like oh dude this is a game like right up my alley and then went to steam and picked it up and uh, uh, is like playing it currently and enjoying it you know it's, that's just a cool thing i'm into it I'm into it. I would love to use the chariot card there, but I honestly want to save the chariot card for Isaac. Shouldn't have went in the curse room. This slow up item is uh, really, really good. It's really helpful, especially in rooms like that where you just kind of got to calm the seas a little bit. Calm the seas a little bit. Um, bottom left, I guess. It's a weird, weird uh, room layout we got going here. Uh oh, no, no, hate this guy. One of the most underrated enemies in the game is that guy, the guy with the homing, the homing uh, bursts of tears like that. He he gets me more times than not. To be completely real. That's so satisfying when they go into the spike like that. It's also satisfying that that one brimstone basically does the whole, the whole, uh, enemy. I know that sounds dumb, but it's up trust. It's not, I mean like all stages of the enemy, uh, no item room yet. Let's go find that. I think up into the left, we got some, something, little something, something. There it is. There it is. Um, Hmm, I actually like this Robo Baby because it's not the broken one, but I'm going to take Serpent's Kiss because of the black hearts and just survivability. Uh, I like it. I like it. Check out the shop. We could buy this. What else can we buy? Nothing really. You know what? We could uh, put some money in into the donation machine because why not you never know afterbirth plus might have something to do with the donation machine i know i've i've said this in the past but it's better it's better to be uh safe than sorry haven't said that today so good take a sip of the old iced coffee the old iced coffee oh my it is letting me it is letting me dump uh some money in there 125 just like that i like it i like it man i like it Feels good, man. Feels good. Ooh. 
Oh, by the way, I did want to mention this in one of my Isaac episodes, but uh, on Twitch the other day, I guess it was, I actually created two of my Isaac thumbnails, or one, maybe one. It was one or two of the Isaac thumbnails. I did some Madden thumbnails as well. I know there's a select few of people that are interested in that kind of thing. Um, I'm going to kill myself for this. I know there are a select few uh, people that are interested in that kind of thing, but that being said, I did create uh, an Isaac thumbnail on stream. And if that interests you, go to my Twitch and then you could go to past broadcast and you can uh, you can watch it being made. Like I said, I, I don't think it interests everybody, but if you were ever curious how I made the Isaac thumbnails, uh, you could you could check it out there. I make a monster. I make one on stream. Okay, I thought it was a no-brainer to go for the uh, real brimstone, just because I think obviously Azazel's biggest downfall is his range, and uh, once you get Azazel with normal brim, everything seems to be all right. Like I'm not one to take brimstone. I'm just not really a huge fan of brimstone, but when it comes to all that extra range, it's almost a no-brainer. Uh, I think the hardest part, you know, f is fighting Isaac with that short, short burst of uh, brim. This is actually a Womb XL, and we just found we just found the exit that quick. Pretty insane. Yeah, that was really unfortunate. Some of them were, some of them were slowed, and then the last couple weren't. Um, we already could fly, so it's useless. There is a tin of rock. I was gonna say there's a lot of rocks in here. Oh, that's so huge. That's so huge. All right. Got past the eyes. The brim isn't like super high damaging, but I'll tell you what, the tier rate of the brimstone is actually pretty good. It's really bad. Isaac. Okay, we took too much damage there. I think that's uh, pretty obvious. Okay. Crampy is dead. Good old Crampy. I don't know, man. No, you know what? I'm liking the spider thing. I, I, I never use it, and I'm actually using it, so it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun, man. I mean, we already have a brimstone. We don't really need Krampus's head. I'm probably going to, uh, that, that almost killed me. I'm probably going to use the chariot card on Isaac, I would presume. Does this really change the brim that much? I don't think it does. Oh, it does. Yeah, we'll use it. We'll use it. It looks pretty damn cool. It looks pretty damn cool. Got him. One more shot for him. Check out what's in here. Just a gold chest. If it was red chest, I would maybe check it out just because of uh, the guppy chances. Guppy chances are still real. Not not high, but real, I guess. I was also thinking about starting a Mario Kart series on YouTube. I know that's uh, quite random, but if you watch my stream, you do know that I enjoy Mario Kart and I play it a lot. And I know it's Mario Kart, all right? I, I get it. I get it, dude. I just say Mario. I don't know why. Just growing up in New Jersey, that's what I say. Uh, but yeah, I know that might come off as very random, especially if you don't watch my stream. Um, but yeah, I thought about it. I just didn't know exactly what format to do it with. Like, it would be online, I would presume. <clears throat> it would be online, but... It's it's weird to say this, but I wish there was, like, a better ranking system online. Like, y you could strive for something. Like, you know, Road to Gold or something. I, I don't know. 
but uh i really like doing the single player grand prix that's what i've been doing on my stream and like achieving gold in each of the grand prix and trying to get the three stars all that fun stuff i wish there was something to strive for uh like that online i think the rating system is kind of lame i feel like it's just you know points like you're rated a thousand when you start and you go up from there it's something like that i'm like pretty sure all right we got money equals power unfortunately i did dump all my money into uh into the donation machine it's all right it's not that big of a deal it's not like we need a ton of damage when we have brimstone we look ridiculous right now with the green coming out of our mouth and the money and the money glasses I wonder if this is one of those songs if you like reverse it it has like that subliminal message kind of sounds like it when he's singing hey why didn't that guy get slowed <laughs> that guy was like nah I'm good I'm good at this speed thanks though But yeah, I don't really know the format that the Mario Kart series would be in. Okay, could have been better, but I mean, we got him out of his hardest phase. The second phase is not that hard. Uh, especially if you have enough damage to knock him out after this. The only time that, that phase gets hard is if your damage isn't good and he starts teleporting. Because his teleport can get a little ridiculous. Sometimes he'll spawn right by you or on you. Hey, thank you for the black heart. All right, we don't have left hand. Good. We're good. 19 keys. More than enough. More than enough. <clears throat> Curse of darkness, though. Curse of darkness, though. I mean, yeah, I don't love Ludovic. Oh, shit. Okay, we're good. It just laces the brim in technology. I thought it was Ludovico technique. You could tell I'm still rusty on the items in this game. Uh, that's fine. It's technology. It probably killed our damage, like actually killed our damage. But it didn't take away our brimstone, so we're still good. It actually looks really cool. It's like, especially with this trinket, it looks really cool. It's like laced around the brimstone and the brimstone has like that uh squiggly 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 squaggly thing going on looks awesome and the damage is fine technology did not ruin it technology didn't ruin it boys saved saved that that jump that jump i got right under him Wow, we are getting super lucky with finding bosses. I don't know what it is this run. If it, especially that Womb XL. Dude, I don't even remember the Womb. It was so fast. I don't remember the Womb in this game, nor do I remember it IRL. But seriously, like, we've been so lucky finding, uh... We've been so lucky finding boss rooms. It's insane. Just attack, fly. Attack fly. Oh, God, don't. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Easy peasy. Wow, that was a pretty simple win. Granted, you would think it would be simple because we're playing with Azazel. But, like I said, we had some hardships with Azazel on stream. So, I was a little nervous, but we're sitting at four on the random win streak. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. Hopefully, we could get this win streak number up a little bit more. Four is not super impressive, but we're getting there, dude. We're getting there. We can't hurry along. We can't hurry it along. It's just got to gotta kind of happen. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, feel free to hit me with that like. It does help me out a ton. And until next time, stay safe, stay up, and peace out.